Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about diffusion and the title of this video is Are You Ready? Because diffusion has certain requirements that must be met within the room in order to get full benefit out of this acoustical tool. Diffusion is expensive. You have to cover large amounts of surface area. The technology is expensive to build and then the materials that we use to build it are expensive today also with all the price increases. So we want to make sure we meet those requirements first before we even think about diffusion. People call me all the time and they say, well, I want to build some diffusers. And my first question obviously is why? What, why are you wanting to use this tool in your room? And most of the time the response is because it looks cool. Well, it looks cool, but the bottom line is they're expensive. And they can actually make your room sound worse if you don't fulfill certain requirements. So let's look at some of those. RT 30 and 60 times decay times, reverberation times, how long a sound stays down in the room, must be uniform through the whole room. You can't have a hot spot in one end and uh, a dead spot in another. So we have to have reverb balance throughout the room. The decay has to be logarithmic, no spatial irregularities in response. We have to start with low frequency management. We can't have any pressure pockets in the room, especially close to the diffusion. We can't exaggerate or attenuate any frequency range. This is the modal issue problem, okay? And we have to be careful because diffusion can actually increase our reverb times in the room. So we wanna be really, really careful. Diffusion acts as a magnifying glass. It can be a wonderful technology. It can be a technology that makes a surface area completely disappear psychoacoustically. But in order to do that, you know, that kind of fine surgery, if you will, in a room, we have to make sure we have a lot of prerequisites. It's all about square foot of coverage, just like anything else, any absorption treatment and we must match the diffusion to the usage. We also must match distance and prime number of, of diffusion. The distance from the wall surface area, ceiling surface area, to your ears is critical because we want enough distance for that lowest octave band that the diffuser works at to be able to fully form and we need to have distance to do that or else we get phase issues, okay? So we have to be careful. We need free fields. We can't have a diffuser with a lot of objects in the way of it. The way to think about a diffuser is like a speaker, okay? You wanna make sure that it's radiating its energy in the free space without creating a bunch of spurious reflections with objects. I have seen diffusers with furniture in front of them, all kinds of things in front of them. And they're like a speaker. That's the last thing you want to do. They're a passive speaker because they don't work on electricity, but nonetheless, they're generating uh, energy into your room and you have to be very, very careful. It is a technology to make your room sound larger. It does that by minimizing reflections, which for, for, uh, shows, gets our brain not working as good as it should in localizing distances. So. You can, you know, our studio in North Hollywood, we used to blindfold people and bring them in. It's a nine foot ceiling with full diffusion. And we used to always ask them, what's the distance that you hear to the ceiling? 12 feet, 13 feet, some don't hear it at all. So it's very powerful, but you gotta meet a lot of criteria. Diffusion, are you ready? Make sure you are before you make the investment because diffusion can make your room sound worse. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.